scholars, I'm back and ready to do some subtraction today and I hope you are too. I'm so glad you're watching my video and you're ready for the challenge. Um, today we are using the same two strategies as we did yesterday except we are doing subtraction. So we have number bond way that we will try first. The reason that we do two strategies is so we can be like, hey, I definitely know this is the right answer. I definitely tried more than one way to get there so that I'm sure. So let's try it, let's jump in. Number bond way with this problem. So number bond way with subtraction is a little bit more complicated, watch really closely. I am going to have to think. So my first thinking question is going to be something like, what should I pull out of my first number which is my whole, my first number, to make this easier. So that's always kind of the reason that we use the number bond way is thinking like, how can I make an easier equation? Okay, because right now 107 minus 90 is a little bit complicated, but I know I can pull something out of this number using a number bond in order to take 90 away more quickly. So let's do that. So I have 107 minus 90. I know if I take 100 out of here, well, if I take seven out of here, that's not gonna help me take away 90 because seven isn't big enough. But if I take 100 out of here, I know I can do 100 minus 90 pretty easily. But then I would just be left with seven. So this strategy is kind of pulling out hundreds or tens to subtract faster. Okay, so now my new equation that I can create is 100 minus 90. So we go 100 minus 90 equals mm. But as soon as I get that answer, I know I need to add back the seven because the seven wasn't supposed to be taken away. I was just kind of leaving it there until I was ready to think about it, okay? So I'm saying 100 minus 90, I could do that much, and then just add back the seven to find my answer. Well, the difference between 190 is like, if I think of the part of 90, how much more do I need to make 100? 90 and 10 more makes 100. So 90 minus 10, or 90, or sorry, 100 minus 90 equals 10. And then I know I have seven ones that I still need to add back. So I add my seven ones back, and that makes a seven in my ones place and a one in my tens place. I know my answer is 17. So I used the number bond way to find this answer. Now I'm gonna use the number line way. So with the number line way and subtraction, I like to think of it as um, what's the difference between these two numbers? Okay, because that's easier than counting backwards, but you can do either one. I like to put the part that I know and think what's the other part that's going to get me to 107 because this is like the whole is 107, the part I know is 90, what is the missing part? So if I say 90 plus something, makes 107, the answer for my difference, subtraction is finding the difference, is going to be in my jumps. So I go 90 plus 10 more. I did that because I know 90 and 10 more makes 100 and I'm trying to get to 107. So I'm gonna get to 100 first and then I think, well, I'm already at 100, I don't need any tens, I just need seven ones. So my next hop is going to be plus seven ones. That makes 107. So my number line ended up being a little bit shorter than I thought. So I just put this part in. So the missing part was 10 and seven, which makes 17. Okay, so now I'm sure that 107 minus 90 makes 17. And I'm sure because I tried two different strategies, so I proved it to myself. We're gonna try another one that's a little bit more complicated than that, so that you're ready for your practice today. Okay, 
Let's see. Okay, we'll try 133 minus 69. Okay, as soon as I see this, I know that I have a problem because I cannot easily subtract nine from three ones or six tens from three tens. So I have to split apart this number to make it easier for myself. How do I do that? Well, I know if I pull this number apart, I'm gonna look at all the parts. It's 133. So this is worth 100. This digit is worth 30. This digit is worth three. So what from this number could I take out of 100? Well, it's easiest to take the tens out of my 100. So my number sentence would be, well, that is worth 60, because it's six tens. This is worth nine, because it's nine ones. So I'm gonna do 100 minus 60. I'm gonna circle these to remember that I used them already. Makes 40, awesome. And now I know I can do this part, 30 minus nine. I cannot do three ones minus nine ones because three is smaller than nine. So instead I'll do 30 minus nine is, and I wanna kind of line up the answers over here so I can add up what's left, 30 minus nine. Okay, maybe that's not super easy for me. I should have made it even easier. So I'm gonna come back up here and think how can it be easier? Well, I could easily do 10 minus nine, but what would be left from my 30? Hmm. If I break three down and I put one over here, two tens are left over here. So I'm gonna use this and make my number sentence 10 minus nine. Okay, so 10 minus nine is pretty simple. Simplify it, that just makes one but I still have some things to use over here. These two were in my hole and I don't have anything left to take away. I already subtracted 60, I already subtracted nine. So I have to add back my 20 and my three. Those are the only two things not circled that I haven't used and they are in my hole. So they're still there, I'm not taking them away. So I have to add them back to what I have left. So I'm gonna put 20 under here, lining up my ones and my tens. This could probably be a little bit more true in the ones place. I used my 20, and then I still have three to add back as well. So these are all the pieces that I have left. Okay, now I'm gonna add up my ones. That's three plus one makes four ones. Add up my tens, four tens plus two tens makes six tens. So my answer to 133 minus 69 should be 64. Now, that's a lot of steps, but the main thing is whatever you can do to make it easier for your brain is what number bond way is supposed to help you with. Pull those numbers apart until you're ready to find your answer in the easiest way possible, okay? So I'm going to um, move, let's see, how much sleep, let me make sure you can see this. See the bottom of my board, perfect. Okay, so let me come down here and do my number line. I'm gonna erase this a little bit. Okay, so I know if I'm finding the difference, I, I know I'm subtracting to find what's in between the two numbers because my whole is 133. The part I'm taking out is 69 to find what is left. This is the same as thinking if I have 69 plus something else, the other part, is going to make 133. So what is that other part? Let's find out. Let's count until we get to 133. So easily, I know first I'm gonna add on one. Why? Because 69 plus one more makes a friendly number. That makes 70, okay? I wanna get all the way up to 100. Right now I only have 70. How do I get to 100 from 70? Well, seven tens plus three more makes 100. So 70, 80, 90, 100. I need three tens, which is the number 30. So 70 plus 30 is 100. Oh, now that's super friendly, because now I know I just need to add three more tens. Again, that's 30. So 100 plus 30 is 130. And then I need three ones. Plus three 
three more ones, and I finally got to 133, because 130 and three more ones makes 133. Awesome, now I just look at what's on top, and this part is my missing part. The 69 plus something made 133. So what are all of these jumps on top? What do they make? 30 plus 30, that's like three plus three, Three tenths plus three tenths is six tenths. That's 60. Plus three more is 63. Plus one more one is 64. So again, I did find 64 with my number line strategy and my number bond width. I proved it to myself by using two strategies. Let's see if you can do the same today. We're super excited to see your work. Thank you, scholars.